guys, welcome back to Subnautica. I love this game. I get so excited every time it's Monday. I can play Subnautica for the channel. Okay, so last episode. Um, what did we do last episode? Oh, that's right. We made a sea moth. See moth? There it is. Yeah. Um, and I think we're going to go there this episode. Oh, that's right. We started building the base, but we kind of didn't. Um, have blueprints and stuff for the actual outside bits. That's right. Yeah, so we don't have that. That's what we need. So, um, I always do that. So, we've got the sunbeam coming. So while we wait for the sunbeam, are you sitting on my head? Like, what are you sitting on? I don't know. Okay, so while we wait for the sunbeam, I figured we would mine a little bit and we'll go check out um, Officer Keen's location too. <laughs> So, we've got a lot of stuff on us. This is why I wanted to build a base. Oh wait, do we have a message? High priority automated message from Aurora Live Pod 13 coordinates attached. Live Pod is carrying high priority passenger. Yaki Kasa. I said Kassar. Why do I have to record this anyway? Send immediate burial detail. Signal location uploaded to PDA. Did he die? Of course he died. Everyone dies. Apart from you. Okay. So, um, I also don't know if you guys remember in the last episode... But we were looking at some, yeah, this, LifePod 6. Now, it said transmission origin approximately 400 metres west-northwest of LifePod 4's last, okay, last known location. That is a tongue twister. So, I thought, you know... Don't know why, but I thought we had life pod four. Turns out we're on life pod five. So I have like no idea where life pod four is. I don't even think we actually. Life pod three, life pod 17, 13. Yeah, we don't even have a little thingy for it. So, I don't know. I'm going to change it red. And the base can be red. Life pod can be yellow. Oh my god. Bioreactor. Oh, cool. What's that? Maybe I put the eggs in there. And I have like a little aquarium. Okay, so. Scanner room HUD chip. Scanner room speed upgrade. 
Do I even have a scanner room? Oh, I do. That's cool. I want to find this and this. That's what I want to find today. Okay. Welcome aboard, Captain. I love doing that. It's fun. Hey, stink face. We just gotta remember to check on the time. Cause the sunbeam's coming. Oh, this is creepy. Actually, just quickly, Bola Mia. I swam into my own sea moth. Ah, oh, it's so pretty. Oh. God. <laughs> that scared me a little bit. Not gonna lie. So much titanium here. So this is another creep vine. Oh my god. Oh, are you freaking kidding me? Oh, but it's so dark. Ah. Oh. I didn't mean to do that. What? What, bitch? I'm trying to survive. Oh, really? Can I eat anything? No. <laughs> oh, what's that? It is so dark. The biomass in this area is dominated by plant life, picking up faint or terror vehicle signatures. Really? Hang on. I want to scan one of these things. I don't have one of these things yet. Jelly Ray. Uh, it just looks like they have eyes. Wow. I really thought I was going to crash. I can drive this thing pretty well. Oh, there it is. Glide fins. 
Life pod 13. Hey, little guy. What are you doing? Integrating new PDA data. Uh, that's it. I can't get anything else. Okay. What do you say? Cool. 4546B Environment Scan Category 3 Ocean Planet Oxygen Nitrogen Atmosphere Extensive Biodiversity Safety Warnings May support Leviathan Class Predators Water Contaminated with High Levels of Foreign Bacteria Planet is Beyond Federation Space Rescue unlikely. It is not recommended to explore this environment without hazardous materials, material suits and extensive support apparatus. Scattered wreckage. See, like to me, the Aurora looks pretty intact. But then you find these huge chunks of it, like, how big was it? I don't know. I guess, I guess space, spaceships are pretty big. Oh, that's cool. They actually let you know that you have to go find some blueprints because it's actually been corrupted data on your PDA. That's cool. Um, I don't think we have any other alien eggs. Evidence suggests that a substantial number, if not all, of the local species reproduce through egg laying. Eggs can be found resting on the sea floor, buried beneath the sand, or even wedged into cracks in the rock. Aha! If an egg is relocated to a suitable alien containment unit. <gasps> well, I just have one of those. I just gotta make it. Okay, cool. I don't think we've got any other stuff to look at. Oh. That's crucial for the story anyway. I wanna make those fins, where are they? You would think it would be under equipment, right? Nope. Modification station. Gotta make a stupid modification station. Okay, now my inventory is full too. I wonder... Should I go back to base? We've got 15 minutes... Before the sunbeam. Oops. I was going to go there. 
Oh, that's 300 meters down. My baby can't go 300 meters down yet. Okay, we're back at base. Oh, we're back at the pod. Okay, what I was thinking is I want to make a couple of these so I can start putting beacons and stuff around everywhere that I find. Then I'll be able to find my way places, if that makes sense. And I was going to make a couple of these to put my shit in near my base so then when it comes to building my base I can just be like oh yeah I can just shove it in there take it out of there and then build it it'll be good okay now I know I'm gonna need a lot of titanium do you know, I cannot remember Is my inventory full again? It is Um, do I not have I've got my radiation suit on Aha uh -huh. Um I can't remember where I needed where I got the propulsion cannon. Do they all need lead? Book me. Okay, if I put them here. So I've actually already started playing um, Below Zero um, and you can actually ride the equivalent of, of the reef back um, in Below Zero is like the glow well and you can actually ride them. It's pretty cool and a little bit scary because they can go really deep and you can't because you run out of air. Do you know what? We really need to go to the thing and meet the thing. So I'm gonna make all this fill up. Oh, I just wish I had a freaking. I really miss my. What should we call it? Eh, close enough. Um, uh, moth, 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 moth. There you are. Gotta come up with a good name. For my sea moth. That way. We're going that way. We'll go for jumpies. Yeah, jumpies. 
Is this another wreck? Have I been to this wreck? Oh, go away. Oh, my frame rate just really dropped for a minute there. Oh, I'm gonna go through you! Um. Oh, there's nothing in there. What about over here? See, yeah, why is this still bubbling? Like it's not moving. I don't know what happened to my frame rate. I may have to um, save and load back in. I think I've already been to that one. Got one of those. Stop farting on me! You stinky shit. Okay. Um we may miss being at the landing site. Whoops. Whoopsie. What was that over there? It's like purple smoke. I keep on getting sidetracked. That looked like lightning. I don't know what that was. I don't want to look down. Look, looking down and when you can't see the bottom, that's really scary. Okay. We should make it. we get a message now why not when we're this far away from the base uh oh uh oh what did she say hit me you kid it out a uh, repair tool sometimes it works and sometimes it doesn't <laughs> uh. okay shell so pretty again Yes, please. Oh, I really wish I had a thingy. But, I can eat these, right? Nice. I like how, um, you know, you don't even care if it's edible or not. You're just gonna eat it anyway. Um, we might go into that cave later. What was that in the water? Huh? 
No, get away. Get away, you stupid. Stupid. Get. Get. Go on, get. Can I scan that? No. I don't know if I want to go up there yet. Oh, is it going to be dark when they come? We had like plenty of time. So pretty. It is moving really fast. I don't know where a good spot is. Can I get up there? Oh yeah. Okay. We'll wait for the sunbeam here. Oh, something's happening. Sounds alarming. Survivor, we see you. Man, I don't know how you held out down there. We broke an atmosphere and we're descending towards the landing site. Is that a building down there? What do you mean you can't identify it? Oh, there they are. Hold on. No turning back now. Positions, everyone. Touching down in 10, 9, 8. It's coming from the building? Change course. Set thrusters to full. That is one terrifying weapon. Or a sunbeam. Let's have a moment silence for the sunbeam and their crew. Okay, huh? so oh. yeah. I broke huh? my cankles. I scan the purple one? No. I've already scanned it. Ooh, pretty. Like seriously, if the architects can make this weapon, how the hell couldn't they Side. That's pretty broken up. Oh no, it's daytime. Pretty. Um. Yeah, 
if like a civilization can make that frickin' thing, how can they stop the corral in infection? I'm pretty sure there's a big bad down there. Pretty, pretty, pretty sure. Oh, it's got like the top off of it as well. Go away. I killed your friend. I will kill you too. Son of a bitch. Can't. I remember there was something in here. pick up all the lithium be cool if I had a torch but oh well diamond <coughs> diamond oh you son of a fuck come here oh you're gonna get it <gasps> You gon' get it? Yeah. What can I scan? That. Alien arch. Oh, that's right. It's the Stargates. Uh, I'm pretty sure I don't have one of those. God, I sounded like an elephant. Huh? Can you hear that? <laughs> Elefante. Whoa. I almost jumped down there. Would have died. At least I would have hurt my ankles. My kinkles. hate you guys I don't have a torch do I? I have this thing oh I can hear that I don't know if you guys can hear that, but it's creepy. It's like they're in the walls. I don't know if I'm going the right way or not. Ugh. Have I scanned that? Oh no. Um really don't want that. I think I'll be good for lithium for a little while. Wait, did I need lithium for my base? Go away. You son of a... Monkey turd. Oh, there's so much here. Did I get that? Um, it's full. 
Well, that was a good find. Um, how do I get out? I don't want to get out now. Oh, if I run, then oh, never mind. Oh my god, I thought I was going to die in there. Okay. So, let's go take a look-see in here. is composed of a metal alloy with unprecedented integrity. No match is found in database performing structural analysis. This place is so cool. Alien data terminal. Discovered inside an alien facility, it was not possible to translate any useful information. However, scans have returned some information on the device itself. It is likely a solid state computer, although there is no clear way to interface with it. On approach, it began producing a low frequency radio wave containing complex but recognizable data patterns. It is likely the alien species which designated this technology, which designed this technology, evolved or genetically selected sensory apparatus to hear and understand the information being broadcast by the device and to communicate back. The mental processing power required to perform this kind of telepathy would imply that designers were considerably more physiolo physiologically developed than the common human. Further research required. Why don't our keys look like that? This structure's intended purpose is unclear. Theories on function ceremony or religious role, industrial applications, advanced transportation network, further research required. Okay. I downloaded the data, didn't I? Yeah, I think so. There was no data. It's so pretty. Cube. Thanks. Analysis of the patterns on the walls cannot ascertain whether their purpose is aesthetic or functional. Further data required. I don't know, lady, but they look cool. Oh, God. Dang it. Can I not drop titanium in here? Go away. Huh. Unknown 
language attempting translation. Enforcement platform schematic. This data set appears to be a multi-dimensional schematic of some kind. By mapping the pattern to three-dimensional space, it is possible to gather a basic understanding of this facility's internal workings. Construction material. The facility's unknown construction material is identified as an ultra-hard non-reactive metal amal synthesized from off-world materials. There is no indication that it can be damaged or destroyed by available means. Power. The schematic indicates the facility was to be powered by a separate self-sustaining power plant located elsewhere on the planet. The location is not listed but there is evidence the design is intended to harness the planet's natural thermal energy. Layout. The facility consists of the upper engineering section where this schematic was found and the control room which is assessed by, accessed via a security sealed elevator shaft or a separate underwater moon pool. Control. The control room in the lower section houses the only known way to interfere face with the facility. However, the schematic does not detail the operation procedure or install or installed security measures. The ion cube. This green mineral substance has no entry on the periodic table and an unprecedented ability to store huge amounts of ionic energy within it. Likely grown artificially, cubic appearance suggests it has been cut from a large deposit. Each cube contains the equivalent ionic energy of 5 kilotons of TNT. Holy cow! Under the right conditions, the energy could be released in, the con in a controlled manner. Likely used as batteries, but re would, would require a substantial power source to be recharged. That's the way I came in, right? So we're going this way. Your best probability of interfacing with this facility is achieved by accessing the control room in the lower section. Huh? Let's do it! Whee! Oh god. That would be so cool in real life. Or we like going to one of those, um, Oh shit. Um It would be like going to one of those um like artificial gravity places where you can pretend you're like out, out in space. Um That looks badass. I'm kind of in a rush now game. Oh, this has an alien thing too. Where's the control room? You legit have to go up to go down. Oh. Killing me game. I gotta remember that there's a purple crystal there. Oh wait, I could probably get it on the way out. Scans indicate the facility's control room lies beyond this doorway.
I don't have any water on me, do I? Oh, no. Why you would go and touch it, I have no idea. Fucking creepy. Sorry, don't have time to chit chat. I'll just quickly run and get this. I've got time. I'm so gonna die. Okay, okay. Gotta remember how to get out of here. I wonder if I swim, will it be quicker? I don't know. Oh, I just need to eat some of the the tree. Huh? That gives me some water, doesn't it? Oh no, I'm slowing down. Oh, this was such a bad idea. Oh my god, why do they have to make that building so big? Oh my god, I'm gonna die! Okay, 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 it'll be okay. My fucking inventory's full. Oh my god. <laughs> um where did all that stuff that I dropped go? It roll into the ocean. Ha! It did! Look at it! That's the scary side of the water. I stay on this side. Golly gosh. I almost died to dehydration. Oh, but now we can we can read the other stuff. Doomsday device. Scans indicate this device contains enough potential energy to destroy the entire planet, along with most of the solar system. Fortunately, it has malfunctioned. What? Did they actually try and turn it on? Wait, didn't we find... 
like more um, information. Aha! Alien facility locations. Intercepted background data re regarding further alien facilities elsewhere on the planet. Disease research facility, depth 800 meters. Location cave system with extensive fossil records southwest of enforcement platform. Function live specimen study. Objective synthesis of antidote for highly infectious bacterium designed Kara. Designated Kara. Kara, or whatever it's called. Thermal power facility. Depth 12,000. 1200 meters. Location inside an extensive natural rock formation in an area of intense volcanic activity. Function, generate energy for all local facilities. Sanctuary A and B, data corrupted. Offsite laboratory, data corrupted. Primary containment facility, data corrupted. In the event of an outbreak, quarantine procedures will be automatically enforced with immediate e effect. The quarantine enforcement platform will target all incoming and outgoing craft to prevent the spread of infection off-world. And that's exactly what happened to the Aurora. Proper tablet. Oh. Um. Oh, there it is. I'm like, where did my sea moth go? Good find. I don't have any space left in my inventory, do I? No. Probably really no. I've never been down here. Oh, do I really want to go down there? I'll probably find stuff that I want. Okay, let's go back to the life pod. Go away. What was in there? Oh, just go away. I already got that. I don't want to go in here. Yee! Wait, is that the floating islands? I have no idea where we are. I thought the floating islands were like directly a that or way. Have I been to Life Pod 3? Yep. I'm pretty sure that's the other part of the mobile vehicle bay. But I've already built that! Oops. Sorry, fishy. Does that look weird to you? 
What is that? Oh, it's an egg. Sea glide. Oh, I just I want I want the propulsion cannon and the laser cutter. I just don't remember where they are though. And with the laser cutter we can go through bigger wrecks. Am I gonna fit? Almost dying. Oh wow, this is full of stuff too. Oh, that's right, we had a message. Playing partially translated broadcast. Oh my god, that's so creepy. Is that the freaking warpers? Is that is that their voice? Oh, that's creepy. Um So there was nine. Nine people actually lived. Wow. Oh, I've never heard that before. Lithium that I needed. Fuck. more of you. Water doesn't go very far. I find food. You fill up on food quicker and it goes down slower than water. And you know, it's probably like that in real life too. Like most of the time when you think you're hungry, you're just really thirsty. could actually make better water. I don't think I know how to do that yet though. Okay, so what 
one last thing. Or maybe I should wait for the next episode. This is already going to be a chunky boy. Yeah, I might wait till the next episode. So, we actually went to that island over there. And next episode, we go to that island over there. And then... Uh, we'll start making our base, I think. Um, yeah. Yeah, I think that's it for me today, guys. I did a lot of farming off screen. Um, so yeah, we'll hopefully have a heap of resources to build our base next episode okay that is it for today I hope you all have a fabulous day and cheetah out